Park. Yeah, um, we're at the, we're doing one of these little puzzles now. I was gonna say I was actually taking a moment there just to. Um, sure. Uh, I was just taking a moment to uh, look at the start of this level, and again, just pointing out, for, especially because we have a lot of students in the class. Um, a how this little secret can get you something like this, but like looking at how they just laid out this level and all these little things that point you in that direction. But then yes. um, I'm more experienced with this game. So like I have this like hidden itch to like look behind me and look to the kind of behind and left a lot or behind and yeah. right, depending which way I entered. But like, that's the, what this level of layout um, is kind of pointing which towards is, right now. And that is a very good point. And this actually, if you want to go back for a second, sure this thing. is, um, this is a, a tough lesson that I found in my, my career for, for, you know, Less so for myself because I grew up playing Zelda, uh, but a lot of designers uh, have tr trouble with this. That um, too often when designers create sequences, they they often present the player with the solution before the problem. And so in this particular case, it's not nothing groundbreaking here, but up that where, where you're being pulled to, if you want to go to the right, yeah, like up there. Okay. That the, the point is that you're going to go to that room behind you there for the key, essentially for the the way to shut down the, the power and open up these gates over here. Yeah. Um. And so we did want you to pull forward. Yeah. Uh, like despite the here. fact that it's like it's a dead end, and it feels like, oh, why would I go to the dead end? Well, that's exactly it, because that way you appreciate the solution more. And yeah. this is just a, a goofy little locked door, right? Yeah. But so often, uh, and I see this in shipped games all the time. You you come into a room and you're drawn to like oh look at this I found a key or something other you know I don't know a fire extinguisher or whatever and then you go down the hall and it's like oh and there's the fire I'm supposed to put out you would be surprised or maybe not how many people um, have difficulty grasping you know you have to make sure that you're pulling people towards the uh, blockage before the solution it sounds that is, so that obvious, is a really good observation one I hadn't thought of yet. Um, well, it, it's one of those things where it, it's, it's sometimes it comes naturally, but when you think about it, uh, you know you you, you got to work for it. Yeah. Um, I can show you another example of, of, up up top here where um, in this particular room, I, I actually sort of redid the layout based on some of this feedback that Ken had. Oh, so here? quarantine control. Yeah, like basically, well, I'll let you finish these people off here. Yeah. Um, so if you look uh, right here, this is your again your blockage. This is where you're trying to get to. to right, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right there. Whoops. Sorry. Make it's sure you don't get it's all good. Out. <laughs> keep, keep talking, by the way. I'll handle them. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, a little droid here. So, what up, uh, you know, originally I had the, the solution, the little lever here. It was pretty much like right up against the wall or, or, or whatever. So you couldn't actually appreciate when you actually pull the switch and then the, 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 light, the room lights up red. And then you see, eventually, when you do get the solution, Steinman's key, you see the, the door open up and all that sort of stuff. So you look at how contrived this section is. Like you come up here and you have this little island platform overlooking both the door and then the... the uh, Oh, look at that. You just found a little secret there, I think. Oh, what? Over here? <laughs> oh, actually, you were walking up the side. I don't know. You could do that. Um, nice. We should put a blogging volume there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> stop breaking the game. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, you can see where, like, this is a little bit contrived, right? Uh, yeah. But I think that's that's exactly the way um, you, you present these sort of things. Is you find ways to uh, put the things in front, front and center. And that can be difficult when you're talking about pushing oh. a button. Oh, right? nice. Well, I was going to point out this room here is actually interesting, too. Yep. Uh, like, oh, look, the Tommy gun. Oh, no, a trap. Absolutely. Um, and so this is a very similar layout here where you can see the solution up ahead uh, and you're going to use the switch. I mean, it's basically a mirror of that other room. Yeah. Um, use that switch and then you can see the door open up and all the enemies flood in and all of that. Yeah. Um, uh, try 